So, as you know if you have read the title, The Doors Dev Elsplash has recently released a trailer for the new Hotel Plus Doors update. Today, I'll be picking it apart and giving my honest opinion on this awesome announcement. First of all, I would like to say that as somebody who has beaten Doors many times, I cannot wait for the release. I have to say the trailer looks incredible, but I do want to clarify one thing. There is no evidence that we will have another 100 Doors. While some seem to believe that we are getting the mines update as we go down into a mine at the end of the game when we fall down the elevator shaft, we have been confirmed that this is not the case. The devs instead seem to be focusing on the current state of the game and adding items and also other interesting features that we will be covering in today's video. For those of you who have seen the trailer, what about the skull key? Is that a new room? My answer would be no. Unfortunately, I highly doubt. If you look, it looks like it's very much the same hotel. But something that is quite cool is that that is the traditional key that drops from a boss. Are we going to get a fight in the game? I don't know. Is this going to is that the key that unlocks a fight? I don't know. It would be super cool if it is. So um Let's get back on track, anyway. Alright, first upon our list of subjects, we have the rush. This is possibly one of the most interesting parts, where rush is chained up by some weird kind of blue light. That is crazy. So, we have all seen Rush as some unstoppable demon who can just run straight through everything and we've trapped him. Now, this is crazy, but I think it could be the guiding light who traps him. Because in reality, if you look at the color, it does very much look like the guiding light. We have even more evidence of this when we have later on a candle go out in a puff of blue smoke. This is interesting because smoke in the game hasn't really existed, so this could just be their way of depicting smoke, it could just be a very normal smoke. However, it does not look like the kind of thing you would just expect to come out. So I reckon that it's possible that this lights up maybe when an entity is nearby and then goes out when you're safe. Maybe that would help you in a dark room when Screech is around. Maybe when Screech is around it will light up and that will tell you and you'll be like oh I've got to look around quickly and find Screech but on to the next I think I really have to talk about this the crucifix that is found on the text the rules are changing a crucifix is being reassembled by some kind of blue light the guiding light again I don't know but I believe this is what trapped Rush. Speaking of Rush, why don't you rush down to that big red sub button? I'll make you a deal. If you subscribe, I'll live stream the update for you. Back on track, the crucifix could be pur purchasable from a new entity. Let me explain. We all know that the in-game coins currently have very little value other than getting you one or two extra knobs. But updating them and then giving them a near essential use is something that a lot of game developers have used including mojang in minecraft i think that this is going to be what it is like it could not be it could be that you purchase some other item it could be that it's not even in the game but honestly if you're watching this i would love to see some new kind of entity coming in to uh you know, bulk out the game a little bit. Now we're on to an almost uh, debate, basically. You can debate this in the comments. Uh, the release date. We all know it's in December, but I want to guess when. I believe we can cross out a few days easily. The 25th would make no sense as everyone would be chatting with their families and they wouldn't particularly want to go and play a game. 26 onwards could work, but the pressure from the fan base is currently huge, and like, the, nobody wants to do that. But please don't feel pressured by the fan base. You need to take your time. You saw what happened to Minecraft. Um, 
So I'm just going to take a middle ground with the days we've crossed out. I'm going to go with the 12th. I think it works fairly well, but in reality could be absolutely anything. So our final topic is a thanks to the L Splash creator team. We all enjoy the game if you're watching this and greatly appreciate the time and effort that you put into these projects. I would also like to say that all of the music is amazing. I've selected my favourite to put in the background of this very video. Um, the entire team puts in so much effort and it really shows. And on the, on the subject of thank yous, thank you so much for watching and I'll trail you out with some more of L Splash. <laughs>